with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through, her, through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. As I, Ezekiel, listened, God shouted, Come here, you scourges of the city, and bring your weapons of destruction. Immediately, six men advanced from the upper north gate, each holding a deadly weapon. In the middle of them was a man in white with a scribe's inkhorn in his belt. They came in and halted in front of the bronze altar. The glory of the God of Israel rose off the cherubs where it had been and went up to the threshold of the temple. He called the man in white with a scribe's inkhorn in his belt and said, go all through the city, all through Jerusalem, and mark a cross on the foreheads of all who deplore and disapprove of all the filth practiced in it. I heard him say to the others, follow him through the city and strike. Show neither pity nor mercy. Old men, young men, virgins, children, women, kill and exterminate them all. But do not touch anyone with a cross on his forehead. Begin at my sanctuary. So they, be so they began with the old men in front of the temple. He said to them, defile the temple, Fill the courts with corpses and go. They went out and hacked their way through the city. The glory of the Lord came out from the temple threshold and paused over the cherubs. The cherubs spread their wings and rose from the ground to leave. And as I watched, the wheels rose with them. They paused at the entrance to the east gate of the temple of the Lord the glory of the Lord of Israel hovered over them. This was the creature that I had seen supporting the God of Israel beside the river Kiba, and I was now certain that these were cherubs. Each had four faces and four wings, and what seemed to be human hands under their wings. Their faces were just as I had seen them beside the river Kiba, each moved straight forward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Above the heavens is the glory of the Lord. Above the heavens is the glory of the Lord. Praise all servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. Above the heavens is the glory of the Lord. From the rising of the sun to its setting, Praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens, his glory. Above, above the heavens is the glory of the Lord. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? Above the heavens is the glory of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Allelu, 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 allelu. Your precepts, O Lord, are all of them sure. They stand firm forever and ever. Allelu, 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 allelu. My brothers and sisters, Jesus comes to us in a very special way in his word. Let us listen to those words as they are taken from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, if your brother does something wrong, go and have it out with him alone between your two selves. If he listens to you, you have won back your brother. 
If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you. The evidence of two or three witnesses is required to sustain any charge. But if he refuses to listen to these, report it to the community. And if he refuses to listen to the community, treat him like a pagan or a tax collector. I tell you solemnly, whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. I tell you solemnly once again, if two of you on earth agree to ask anything at all, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three meet in my name, I shall be there with them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Breathe on me, bread of God. Fill me with life anew, that I may love what thou dost love, and do what thou wouldst do. Long ago, when there were conflicts between young men and women growing up, it would not last too long because we would say what we have to say and we would move on. These days, as the young people say, it's all about respect. If you go beyond what I consider good, you are showing me disrespect. And because of this, we have guidance on how we should resolve conflict. And the first thing is, go and have it out with your brother, one on one. Don't take the social media and blast the person's name left, right, and center without any care in the world to the harm or damage you are doing to that person's character. Secondly, Having met the person face to face, call two witnesses. Have it ask their intervention in what is troubling the both of you. If that doesn't work, report it to the community, to the church, and ask the church to intervene that this brother or sister will be reconciled. Sad to say, brothers and sisters, most of us don't listen. We are prejudiced with what we say. We want a certain outcome. There are marriages where husbands are dominant and tell their wives, this is how it's going down. Is my way or the highway? Sad to say that is not it. Because what it does, it brings a sense of hurt to the other party. They may or may not stay in that marriage, but they will do it very grudgingly. If we look at our world today in 2024, there are so many wars that are going on where people blame others for what they don't have. And the greed in these persons is enough to cause another to die. Recently, there, were some, there are riots going on in England right now where the anti-immigrants are the target. I don't want you here. You're taking away my job. Why you don't go back to your country? And this is causing a lot of hostility. It's happening in Canada also, because when these immigrants come and the, the dream that they have 
that it will be nice and not and land of milk and honey, it doesn't turn out to be so. And a lot of these immigrants end up in other people's countries with no jobs. And they're living in 10 cities and they're in pain. Right here at home, we have so many street dwellers, men and women who are not conforming to what their family wants of them. And they rather take the harshness of the streets rather than stay at home. What does Christ say? Be reconciled. There is a fourth order that is not mentioned here, and that is the sacrament of reconciliation. Every day we come here, whether it is a service or a mass, we say the I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. How many of us really take that to heart? We may come here and we're remembering something that happened years ago and the person is sitting right next to us. I'm not forgiving you. You have harmed me. Is that the right way? Jesus said when you come to the altar, if you know you have something with your brother or your sister, make peace with them before you come here. If you know that you're living in an adulterous relationship, you can't come here for communion. You're bringing sadness and pain upon your life. And that is what our role is as part of the body of Christ. Sharing God's love, showing by example what is the right way. And it brings me to the saint of the day. Then Maximilian Kolbe was a Polish priest. He loved Mary beyond all reckoning. In fact, his words were, he formed the association of um, an army of, of, for Mary for prayers. He survived one world war, and in the second world war, he was taken by the Gestapo to this concentration camp. His greeting from the commandant at the time was that if you want to escape, go right ahead. Because this prison is surrounded by electric wires and you will be fried to death and good riddance to you. Maximilian tried, with, despite his very harsh condition, to bring God's love and to bring and to teach secretly the other prisoners. The commandant also said, if anyone dare to try to escape from this prison, 10 of you all are going to be starved to death. One day, a prisoner did escape. And the commandant came and lined up all the prisoners and said, I'm picking four of you all at random. And the four of you are going to the gas chambers. And when he reached the fourth person, it was a single man, not a single man, a man who had a wife and children. And he was crying out to the commandant, don't let me go there. Maximilian bravely stepped up and said, I will take your place. And Maximilian with the other three were led to the gas chambers. Two weeks after when they came and the poison had supposedly taken its effect, Maximilian was still alive. They said there's something extraordinary about this man. We can't kill him. So they gave him a lethal injection and that was the end of Maximilian. In 1982, the Pope at the time canonized Maximilian Kolbe and acclaimed him a saint. 
And sometime after that, the man who life, Maximilian lay down for, came to his birthplace to meet his relatives and to give thanks. Maximilian life in this regard is synonymous with that of Christ. Greater love has no man than to give his life for another. Maximilian gave his life for an unknown human being, just as Christ foresaw when he gave his sacrifice on the cross that every one of us here in 2024, long after he died and rose from the dead and went to heaven, we will be in need of salvation. There is no sacrifice, brothers and sisters, that we could do to earn our salvation because all of us are sinners and despite our best efforts, we will fall short. Every day we have to ask ourselves, and the church has this prayer called the Examine, which reviews the activities of the day to ask us to look to see where we have really failed in word and deed and in mind. May we take the church, church's teaching very close to our hearts and ask the intercession of Mary, the one that Maximilian loved so much, to be our guide and our protector. Amen. Lord Jesus, you loved us <laughs> and gave yourself for us. Lord Jesus, you loved, loved us. us and gave yourself for us. God is love. He who dwells in love <coughs> dwells in God, and God in him. In Jesus Christ, we see how God loves us. Let us renew our faith in his love. Lord, Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself <laughs> for us. You have given us life and light this morning. Let us give thanks for such great gifts. Lord Jesus, you, you loved us, us and gave, gave yourself, yourself for us. You are sole master of the future. Keep us from despair and the fear of what is to come. Lord Jesus, Jesus you loved us, us and gave, gave yourself, yourself for us. Love has no ambition to seek anything for itself. Strengthen our will to give up selfishness today. Lord, Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. May your love in us overcome all things. Let there be no limit to our faith, our hope, and our endurance. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. In this service, we also pray for the intentions of our Holy Father, the Pope, the Cardinals, the Bishops, and our own priests who will be celebrating the anniversary of his ordination on, on this Friday. We pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, you loved you us, loved and, us gave and gave yourself for us. for us. Lord, we offer you all the war-torn areas of this world. Even Trinidad has to be part of this because by last count, I think we have more than 350 murders in this land. People are angry, people are frustrated, and the only way to resolve differences is through violence. We pray that their hearts will be touched and we will experience a day that is free from murders, we pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, you loved you us loved and us. gave yourself for us. We lift up all our families, especially in our church, families that are being torn apart, husbands who have gone astray, children who have joined gangs, we pray, Lord, that you'll bring back the family, that fathers and mothers will be able to bring their sons and daughters to church and be more involved in the things of God, we pray. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. In the silence of our hearts, let us bring our own needs and petition before Almighty God. Lord Jesus, you loved, you loved us, us and, and gave, gave yourself, yourself for, us. for us. Lord God, in your wisdom you created us. 
by your providence, you rule us. Penetrate our inmost being with your holy light so that our way of life may always be one of faithful service to you. And we make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and drawn by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. And protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. And let's offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. That you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. I was so weary, filled with despair, when I heard a voice whisper near, I am the strength you need, I am your hope indeed, I am love eternal, my friend, just don't bend, come to me always, eat all me always and you will never want rest in me always drink of me always and you will never thirst I was in darkness injured and lost when I sensed the comforting word. I am the Lord of light. I am called Jesus Christ. I am your joy, my friend. Just on back. Come to me always. Eat of me always, and you will never want. Rest in me always, drink of me always, and you will never thirst. 
Acts of Spiritual Communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy one, those who were his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. <coughs> our Father, to grant us that, that free from fear and from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. Make known to his people their salvation, to the forgiveness of all their sin. Kindness of our, of our God visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Remember your holy covenant. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that St. Maximilian received from this holy banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with you. your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this Eucharistic service is ended. Let us go forward to love and serve the Lord and each other. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Same to you. Our recessional hymn, Walk With Me, O My Lord, 317. Walk with, Walk with me, me, O my, my Lord, Lord, through the darkest the night and brightest day. Be at my side, O Lord, hold my hand and guide, and guide me on my way. way. Sometimes, Sometimes the road seems long, my energy is spent. Then, Lord, I, I think, think of you, you and I am given strength. Walk with me, O oh my Lord, through the darkest night and brightest day. Be at my side, O oh Lord, hold my hand and guide me on my way. Hold my hand and guide me.